Amen. Amen. All right. Brother Stone King, come minister. Thank you so much. God bless you, lovely people. Can I be seated for this moment? I want to share something with you before I begin to transmit or impart what I feel to impart to you here tonight. By all medical standards, I'm not supposed to be alive. I shouldn't be here. Ten years ago, I fell dead of a massive heart attack in Sydney, Australia. I was clinically dead for 45 minutes. There was no breath, there was no heartbeat. The blood had coagulated my hands, my forearms, my feet, and my legs. There was no hope for me at all. But after everything they had done medically, I was just slated for DOA, dead on arrival at the hospital. But in the ambulance, I found out a year later by going back and checking with the paramedics that Jesus evidently stepped on board All right. that ambulance. Oh. And my heart began to beat on its own and I began to breathe. Amen. Yes. And so it's a miracle of God that I'm alive. If it had not been for his resurrection power, I now would have been in the grave for a little over 10 years. But then last year, in 2003, I hadn't had a checkup for a couple of years, so I went back to the clinic to have a complete thorough checkup, and they ran tests on me from 9 in the morning until 2.30 in the afternoon. Everything imaginable that could be tested for the heart, they did it on me. I was exhausted when it got done. Well, they found out, without a long story, the stents they had put in 10 years ago, because of the way they talked about stents, I thought they were good for life. They're not. They're only good for five years, and they don't tell you that. I didn't know that. And the doctor said to me in March of this last year, 2013, he said, Reverend, we know your entire case, that the greatest miracle to date for you is that you've lived 10 years on five stents with no medication. They said that doesn't happen. It can't happen. But it happened for me. Amen. So what I'm saying is this. Ten years ago, I was ready to go. Last year, in March, I was ready to go. And I'm still ready to go tonight. But for some reason, I said to the doctors after their open heart surgery, which was five and a half hours, all the stents they put in, scar tissue had formed around them, around them, and in every vein they had put these stents in for preventative medicine, the veins were blocked. So it was a five and a half hour open heart surgery. That's the most you can have. So when it was all over, I said to the doctor, I said, I said, doctor, it would appear to me that Jesus has gone out of his way to keep me alive. He said, he started laughing. He said, I concur. I think that's absolutely true. He said, I think that's true. So what I'm saying is this. I have thought to myself, I was ready to go. And uh, I don't mind going. I really don't. In July this year, I'll be 74 years old. I will never retire. I'll always keep doing what I'm doing. But I said to Jesus, what is it that you want me to do? There must be some reason that you want me here because I've evangelized all over the world. I've done all kinds of things. And this is what I've come to grips with. And this is what I feel. So I want to share with you. I'm being very transparent. I think the reason that God has kept me alive is to transmit what I know to the younger generation. I've got a burden for young people. I've always had a burden for young people because you're the future of everything. You're the church of tomorrow. Everything depends on you. So what I'm saying is this. I'm living for you. I'm living for you people here tonight. I live for you. You people keep me going. Your hunger, your reaching, your worship. It keeps me active, moving, and among you. So tonight, I want to talk to you from my heart. And with that, I want you to stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. In the Old Testament, in the book of Psalms, 105, verse 1, David wrote in Psalm 105, verse 1, he said, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, Make known his deeds among the people. Right. That means to tell it. Yes. That means to tell what God has done. Yes. 